do it. Let me just double double check. Alrighty. Now what was I going to do first? Need to ping a few people so to do that. And then we'll go spade this new destroyer, I guess. Just gonna set a few more things up. somebody that wants to join me in this pain train that's going to be Japanese destroyers. Let's just see. I struggle greatly against Helena's, but I'll show you. Since I'm just waiting to see if somebody is going to join later on. Helena's, where are they? There they are. I found Helena's very, very annoying to deal with. The best option you can have to really disarm them is going for the shell rooms underneath the turrets. They won't kill them. Um, because they're just shell rooms, not the main magazines. The main magazines are way too far in the water to actually hit with any other cruiser. I have had better luck with battleships. Battleships can knock out those ammo racks fairly easy. The rear ammo should also be a bit easier to hit, but it's still quite close, you know, to below the waterline. But in general, just knock out those shell rooms if you have AP, and if you have high explosive, just fire at the bridge, knock out the secondaries. Maybe knock out the main turrets. Because they're not that thickly armored. So yeah, this is just knock them out slowly but surely. There, there's no easy way to one shot Helena. In my experience. But okay, I think I'll just jump into it. And there we go. Ardent Bay is not a map I dislike, so that's good. I usually spawn this side. I think I'll try and do that again. Just slip into here. Um, yeah, engines are also a very good target, but the problem is on Helena's is that the engines 
are very difficult to hit as they're below the waterline as well. And they're pretty tiny. Looks like the feeling stream is lagging behind a bit. Let's make sure I'm crashing into anybody and I'll just double check my streaming software. Because it did have an update earlier today and it is encrypted though. So. God damn it. Two Clemsons, not a bad opponents to see. Seems like I'm down here, that's good. Nope. They got replaced. Those were AI. We got the French Navy one day. One day. I'm gonna try and duck into there and maybe even launch some torpedoes. Whilst I'm at it. Although there doesn't seem to be anybody else over here. So I'll just launch these torpedoes preemptively. And head into A anyways. But there's somebody. Thank you. Clemson G class, I think. Let's see what we can do against that. close as well, so that's helping me out. Doing all right damage for just firing HE. There's a stream going down. Should be alright. Let's just take a look if there's no coastal vessel sneaking up on us. Fine. There is a think of might be this, but let's just be careful. I was confused but the target has locked in too, and I just got shot by a ghost vessel. No, it's no, oh, this has actually set my rear on fire and I don't have parts of B yet. He's going to Ireland. That fire might actually knock me out because I don't have parts of B. That's dangerously close to my Amorak. I 
Fortimus has been knocked out as well. Of course they have. There he goes. Fire has been put out itself. Good. And now we just keep on going. Torpedo has hit one target. Excellent. That's right there. One more, we should maybe do it, one more salvo. There we go. A... Ooh, a black barge, that's not good for him. Because this HE will do a lot of damage to him. Them out. Front engine should be my target on this Clemson. They're undamaged. If I can hit low enough to this. There we go, one more salvo I got you. And him. First to the rear now. There we go. Should do it. And it did. How that guy is still alive is a miracle. And there he goes. Okay. Wait for these slow turrets to rotate. It also doesn't help that they're knocked out. I don't have my 40s anymore, so that won't work either. He's been knocked out. I was in capped. At least the Vagal provides some nice anti-air cover for me. Oh, and he helped me repair. Very nice. Got my firepower back. This smoke screen is a bit annoying though, but well. Is that plane, I mean... Yeah. With a bit of luck, the plane no longer knows where I am, so... I just hope it doesn't repeat on me through the smoke. Down, excellent. Smoke is just being smoke, I can't see anything. Because that's the fun part of somebody smoking up in a very tight area. And there we go. What is he shooting at? Oh, there's something behind there. One more salvo. German destroyer. Well, he seems quite a bit of trouble already. Shoot. 
don't know why my laptop is being so trash. After this battle, I'll take a closer look. I just I don't know why explosions keep happening over there, but it's very distracting. this but let's just mm. I think I'll have to dive deep into the options of OBS again what on earth keeps exploding going on with my OBS. No, it should be fine. I am all tabbing quite a bit as well to just see what the hell's going on with my streaming software, but now it should be fine, it says. Hmm. Okay. Just gonna keep a little bit of close fire out. Yeah, now it now it caught up. Weird. Okay. I'll just not question it too much. Let's get that reward. What is the next one? Decent enough. Uh, he's doing. Oh, that that's new. Oh, I never noticed that it changed that little window. Kind of makes it easier to see the what's what's what. Hmm. Well, let's just check what I have. Off we go again then. My my stock grind for Hot Sahara has also extended a bit because I've run out of premium account time. Which is a bit oof, but oh well. 
It just means I can actually enjoy a Japanese destroyer a bit longer, I guess. Before I spade it. Go to sea. Hmm. It's not going to be as good as the last match, I think, matchmaking wise. Yeah, hey, that's a new one, isn't it? I get the feeling there's several. Ooh, didn't want me to alt tab. There might be more Douglases about. Instead so of just one on our team. Queen's been taken out. Coastal vessel right there. And it's been taken out. I expect that's one of the premium Clemsons. Ooh, what do we have here? More Clemsons. The cap is sadly not going to be ours anymore. Oh well. I should just go around this island and maybe put some torpedoes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, those Clemsons are actually like. Ooh, actually, I should wait here. I should wait here for them to push up into my torpedoes. They're already... Are they going to stick behind the island or are they actually going to push up? I think they're going to push up. So let's see what kind of drop button do I want. I'm gonna leave one launch from the reserve, although I don't think I need to do that. But I kinda want to launch it at a better angle. Oh, that guy is washing way ahead. Those are not going to hit, but oh well. I got hit by somebody else's torpedo, so let's just finish him off. There, the guy in the back is going to get hit by my torpedoes. And uh, the clamps in the back. Let's see what we can do to the clamps in the front. Will the clamps in the back get hit? Oh, he got hit. I should probably put that to stop the repairs first and put that fire. They're launching their torpedoes. He's been knocked out. Other guy's in the smoke. That's why you can't see him. Alright, we just keep rolling. There he is again. Emerged from the smoke.
Launching more torpedoes. Okay. Ah, I hoped I would have missed up. Uh, I need to... Do I need to stop potting? Not really. I think I can make it. I can't. That was a detonation. Oh boy. Would have been way better off if I didn't eat the torpedo. Let's just reduce the guns firing at me a bit. Tube is operative, that's not what I want to see. I'm probably not going to make the cover, so that's going to be my Hatsu Hado already gone. Can I really not repair any torpedo tubes? Come on. I don't have one. I had one, I think. Why can I not choose that one torpedo tube? There it is. And activate this. In the hopes of maybe getting one of them. That's me out. And out of crew as well. There we go. But maybe I can hit one more torpedo. Maybe. Speaking of torpedoes, I want to try out the new torpedoes on the PT-15. Uh, that Rook 4 is actually too deep, the wall. Ah, yeah, the arrow. Actually, let's take a closer look at the arrow. I haven't taken like, too close a look at it. There's one torpedo hit and a very good one as well. Oh, I just got hit by two torpedoes. Oof. Squad mate got hit as well by Moskva. Hmm. What do I see there? Hey, another torpedo kill. Let's see. I want my AP shells, damn it. There we go. He may or may not have launched torpedo, so let's just get out of dodge. I don't think he has. Missiles being launched. Those missiles do look very cool. I don't think I'll see any targets where I can actually use these torpedoes against. Enemy aircraft up. Uh, let's call that to the attention of our... Oh. Go, shut him down. Mm, I don't see it sell. They're getting missiled. I 
Let's do quite a number on those Clemsons. There we go. Game's over. Not the worst match. Although that torpedo to the midsection of my ship could have done without that. Although I did get three torpedo hits, I think. None of them kills, though. None of them outright kills. Get three torpedo hits, though. Um, let's do auxiliary armament. Yeah, let's do primary armament rotation as well. And then some speed upgrades after. Yep. Uh, okay. Don't know who that is, but okay. Well, I might have an idea, but I don't know. I'll look into that later. Into that later. So yeah, more hats. I might actually hold on. I should really activate some backups on her. So I can play her a bit more. There we go. And let's use a booster as well, because why not? And off we go. Not that I really have anything to research of the booster, but why not use it? And spade the ship a bit faster. If there's any other kind of naval vessel you want me to play today, just go ahead and tell them in chat. And I'll see what I can do. I don't just have to spade the Atsuharu. Mm, actually, hold on now. I don't think spawning there is a good idea in the Atsuharu. I like fighting around here with a good gunfighter. Although it's B might still be good for torpedoes. But is it good to go through here or is it good to go through there? I think I'm gonna go through here. Like, launch torpedoes through this angle, but then actually sail through. Oh, but that leaves me too exposed. Ah, I'll just do my usual then. Oop. There we go. Up there, which is not going to help. Oh boy. Oh, that's that's right. That's another ship I actually wanted to have a closer look at. Um, I do not have the Cyclone. I can't even test sail the Cyclone yet. But that is a ship I want to take a closer look at. I need to remember what the BR is on that thing though. I think it's... is it 3.3 or 3.7? The Cyclone. Because it does look kind of interesting. As a coastal vessel it looks very interesting. But it doesn't really have any way to punch above its weight. 3-7, yeah. I, th I think it's a fine coastal vessel, it just can't push, punch up too effectively. Does it get the coastal spawn or is it a frigate? That's the one thing I don't know, actually. I think it gets the um, complex damage model, which it certainly helps it. But if it gets a frigate spawn, I wouldn't really recommend it. Yeah, it has the Blue Water DM, I know that. I know that for a fact, but has it, does it have a Blue Water spawn or not? Right, so destroyer. Coastal vessel on B. There it is. Oh, if he didn't start moving, I would... Oh, never mind. I'll break him. That'd be a little bit too late, and there was also another guy with him. Lead. I'll put those 40s on in here, it's only they're not going to kill ghosts. Ooh, that's good. There we go. I mean, as, as a coastal vessel in and of itself, I think the Cyclone is interesting. Because those those main guns do do quite a decent amount of damage to coastal vessels. Oop. Just in between the rocks there. 
I want to get out of here and behind the solid cover though. Because whatever that is, I don't want it to keep shooting at me. Oh yeah, compared to 40 rolls, of course. But I... Uh, again, I haven't test sailed the Cyclone myself. I've only seen a few snippets of it. And I really... Hmm, I really need to work on my American Coastals. But Coastal grinding is not exactly the most fun you could have. Is that another Hatsu Haru? It is! Well, let's use the better Hatsu Haru captain, I guess. So we take out the front guns, or try to. The then we see if we can detonate his torpedoes. Because I'm aiming way too low to actually hit the guns. So let's try that again. There we go, that's one of the turrets. And just back up, because I don't actually want to be in an extended gunfight. Somebody really wants me dead. The thing is, I don't think they can actually hit my ship if I hide behind this little peak. So I just stay there. So I think, yeah, my um, bridge got knocked out, so I can't actually change my heading and core and speed. Uh, it's not that guy shooting me, it's that guy. But I don't know what it is. I think I'm just going to push up and use these torpedoes. Do you have any aircraft up? So I don't know what that PT-20 is shooting at. Having some fun, I guess. That's, that's a heavy cruiser. Okay, that's actually a very dangerous target. I'm gonna eat some torpedoes down here. There we go, a full spread. And I'm just gonna keep going, hopefully getting out of dodge. These HE shells, man, they still do quite a bit of damage, as long as they don't have anti-frag armor. They used to do a lot more damage, but it's not as bad as it thought it would be. They've got several cruisers around that. Five, three cruisers. Mm. I don't really want to go to sea. But I don't think I have much of a choice at the moment. So let's just keep going. It's a Sumner. Maybe you can kill these American destroyers and these ships. It just takes a bit of time. Knocking out the guns, knocking out the secondaries, adding fire, stuff like that. Somebody attack him! Oh, that's the hardest to over 
further. I'll just focus the American for a second. Taking some serious damage. There's. Ooh, that's a set. 32 or something? 1936A, okay then. It's one of the 15 centimeter guns at least. That thing's scary. So let's not have this gun. Oh, actually, that's that shit's angry. It's very good. Cool. I can actually hit them correctly. Knocked out. Thompson's over there. That guy is angry with me. I want to try and torpedo this Pensacola. Go. All of the torpedoes spread out. Now to bow in and fight this Russian. Nope. Don't know what that shall want. Fire. I'm flooding quite critically, so let's just stop that. The Russian is burning like crazy. He's knocked out. He's pretty much dead. There he goes. Um, that is a British fire, which are actually pretty dangerous. I don't have a bridge. Though they can be knocked out of HE, because they have open gun mounts. Let's just try and turn away though. Or explode, which is also very possible. I'm guessing that was the super firing turret. It just went up. Yeah, oh, actually the... Ammo is the ammo should be fine, but I think it was just a ready rack that exploded in that situation. And let's hope my torpedoes will hit the Pensacola. Okay, I hope they will. That's what the Leipzig I think we saw earlier, so I don't really want to engage him. There appeared to kill on him, even though he wasn't my target, I think... Oh, would it be the first spread or the second spread that just hit him? Oh well. Kills a kill. Don't tell me that light cruiser is shooting me. I think he is. And that's a very dangerous light cruiser. Yugumo. Probably the answer how the player we saw earlier. He has tap charges, does he? That might not end well for him. I don't think the A26 is going to end well for him either, yeah. There's a Pensacola. And it seems none of my computers have found the mark. 
Although that destroyer torpedo might have been hit by my first set and not my... That would have... No, the time in between those two sets is way too big. That would have been my first set hitting him. Because these torpedoes are not that slow, 85 kph. Ah, that's what happened then. That's because I got lucky then. It is Leipzig. Uh, I don't have the speed to rush him. And can my HE even knock out his guns? Not that they were actually he's pretty low on crew. But I did just get his attention, I think. Yeah, you can join the squad after the match if you want to. I'll invite you, officer. Trying to find things I can hit, things I can look at some crew. Fires are also good ways to knock up crew. Uh, I'm getting hit by somebody else. Fletcher. I've seen that Fletcher before. I've seen that person before, I think. And a Fletcher is most certainly not something I want to engage in a Japanese destroyer. Also, he seems to be going for B, so let's see if we can cut him off a bit with torpedoes. Go a full spread out on B. I've lost all the speed by the looks of it. An engine. Can I get a few more shots on this Leipzig? Kind of, because he just beached himself again. 2%, he's, he's repaired a secondary, so I can, might actually knock him out. Can I, knock him out? Can I steal the kill? Not quite. I can still kill. There we go. Um, the Fletcher might eat torpedoes, might not eat torpedoes, who knows. And there uh, I go. Mm. Let's go to B7. Can I see my torpedoes from the air? Where are they? We should have launched them like around here-ish. Why, why can I not see my torpedoes? He sailed through B. And I don't think my torpedoes really covered that much. It covered B itself. But not past it. Where are my torpedoes? They may have all... Oh, there they are. Yep, he sailed past them. Up and down, a classical dodge, and I think I'll drop it there. That should hit him. That's going to hit him. Let's keep in track on that a bit. Yeah, perfect. Perfect hit. Let's see if we can land this one. And it'll cause too much trouble for our squad mate. Bomber. And 
we should be able to touch them soon. Ah, there we go. Got a feeling we're not going to win this match, but oh well. Yeah, the, I did, with my torpedoes, force that Fletcher to not stay in B. Which I think helped. Would have preferred actually sinking over the torpedoes, of course, but I will. That's where we have aircraft for, don't we? Sinking Fletchers. Okay. And let's get airborne again. They've still got quite a few players running around. They should have plenty of targets. I think my next one is probably just going to be a suicide run, really. And maybe then I can capture A in a coastal vessel. I still have the time for that. But there's an enemy coastal vessel on A. Like, uh, right there. I'm not right. Mm. I don't know why the aim is too high. It needs to be... Yeah, he's on A. And it's dead. There we go. Yeah, I might do a kamikaze. But I need to find a good target. I don't see any hostile crew. Mm, there is one over there. He's kind of not a problem anymore. This guy looks like a turbine. Let's put her behind us. I don't know what that is, but it looks not too much of a threat. Oh well, let's go in for the kill. It's a Leone. And... Bombs away. Although I think he did stop. That's probably not gonna kill him. But it did. Also, I was getting chased by something. And uh, now, can I get into a PT boat fast enough? I don't think the PT-15 is actually fast enough for this. No. Oh. Hello there. There we are. Well, there goes our armada, I guess. Yeah. Another friendly heading into A at top speed. I think it's too late. And yeah, the B7A2 is, is by far my favorite bomber aircraft for Japanese naval. It's a good bomb load, it has a torpedo as well if you want to do some memes. Wing? Ah! Him. I do like the new visual effects. Or hits and stuff. Like even on aircraft you see more like flames when you hit something. It's very very nice looking. And I was going to invite Deutschland then. Ooh, that was a good amount of RP. Uh, let's go with some speed upgrades though, add some shrapnel protection because it can't hurt. 
and I'll prioritize speed. Then we're going to invite. Was it? Do I have you in my friends list? I don't. Do we really not? They're all, all together. Should be in there somewhere. Surely. Is it alphabetical? It is not. Oh well, I have a better idea. If I are you still in my squadron? Are you in, no? You're in boat now, aren't you? So if I go to this gamer squadron, I do. There it is. I think I can also just by doing this. There you are. Invite the squad. Boat has claimed too many, you wouldn't believe. Do I not have a title equipped? I do. It just doesn't show my own one in this little window. I do have a small booster left here. Ah, uh, sure. It, it's, I I don't mind people like that doing that for the squadron. I think what's my own squadron? Uh, no, that's not the one. Here, squadron vehicles. No, is it the one? Is it activity where? Yeah, there it is. So this is what my squadron gets basically. Eight point eight k. Not too bad. We're not quite up to capacity yet. Well, we do have a bit, quite a few inactive members, but I don't really care, since we're not up to capacity yet. Ah, yeah. I really should grind out more and more of my naval stuff, but I just... Uh, haven't been up to it recently. Especially now that I don't have my premium gun anymore. It'll only be slower. So I'm probably going to have to wait for the November sale to really get back into the grind. I think I'll pick that RP booster as well. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, when it comes to spading stuff, I usually do way too much of it. I, it's all practically all I do when I actually grind trees, is spade them. Although I do have these gaps, then I just, you know, it come into being. Like, for what goes now, the PT 15 is no longer spaded, so this is this little annoyance. New Zealand Cape and Destroyers. I smell an up tier. Oh yeah, actually, these torpedoes are not that long range, so I need to keep that in mind. I keep just spamming them out because Japanese torpedoes, you just don't really care about the range. But no, these actually have a range I need to consider. Although it is long enough to get to the A point. How can I get a volley away without the Margottini just blocking all of them? I might. I just might. Does it not repeat it? That's again one. That's exactly what I want. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for the Margottini to move ahead a bit. There we go. So the Metropolis do not collide with them. There we go, a volley away. Again. Yeah. 
And for those that were here the last stream, where I mentioned the air sim, I have actually managed to get myself a full on um, Hotes setup. I've been enjoying sim quite a bit. Although I still really do need a head tracker. And maybe a second monitor. That's all quite pricey. Also a bit of a pain that I that like track IR, one of the more famous um, head tracker head tracking equipment out there is out of stock at the moment. And I really don't know what other head trackers there are there are out there. So I'm probably just gonna wait for track IR to get back into stock. And I think it is a bad heading to go to. One's Black Friday, because I don't actually know when that is. It's a very American... well, it's... it's is it a religious thing, or is it just an American thing? I don't know, but we also do have it in Europe, but I don't know what day it is. I know it's a Friday of some sort, but I mean... I don't know what day of the year that is. Oops. Let's just... Give the classical sorry to that. After Thanksgiving. That doesn't really clarify it much for me either, because I don't know when Thanksgiving is. Please present them. Don't, don't pull him out of the way. It's the end of November. Ah, okay. Yeah, actually might do that as well. Wait for... Um, wait for uh, the end of November then to get head tracking. What is hurting me? No. I kind of don't want to shoot at targets that might be hit by my torpedoes. Because getting shot at is one of the best ways to discourage people from their current heading. And that mixture is very scary. I think that's a zombie. Because his main gun shells are very, very, very sporadic. Yeah, that kind of. Like that guy and that guy are very scary. Especially since one of them is shooting me. Ouch. I'm to repeat them, I guess. At least the Mitch. I think the Mitch is going to be cocky enough to just play in a straight line. Repeat it away. Turn around and run away. Run away of all I have. Yeah, a bit of luck at Mitchell can run straight into my torpedoes. I don't know where my torpe original torpedo spread is at the moment, so I'll just shoot him. Because he might have well dodged them all. He got hit by a torpedo. Nice. That means his, my torpedo salvage around there. But Suki might get hit as well. Alright, you know, that's no problem. You can always rejoin when you want to. And because he's damaged, let's keep him damaged. Keep up the fire. I can actually hit him. So he got detonated by the Vega. Mitchell got taken out by the squad mates. No problem. This leopard is not recovering from the flooding. 
I, maybe because he has like all repairs running at once or just doesn't know what to do. But he is not recovering. I kind of really can't finish him off though because he keeps bowing. There we go. Guns as much as possible. Try not to miss him. Okay, I just did. Shooting the guns kills a lot of crew. He's burned out. And that's his Vega. Still knock out his front gun, that's good. Torpedo! Okay! I'm surprised that Leopard even managed to launch Torpedo to this state. Uh, let's just go B7 again. This map is quite big. I like this map for cruisers and battleships, it's actually quite a nice size for them. For destroyers it's a bit too big for my comfort. Speaking of cruisers, are there any? Not that I know of. Yeah, I'm surprised that Leopard actually launched torpedoes because I didn't see him launch torpedoes. Then again, he was burning and smoking quite a bit. I might have just missed it. Where's the inner field? Okay. That is an odd fight to see happen on this map. Ah, it's K2, that's why it was a gunboat. Just pop and weave up and down. I predict the bomb to have to be up there and get out of dodge as fast as possible. And there he goes. I go. What was that there? Exactly, it's the air to this bit inland, okay. I'll probably see it over this little mountain. There it is. Go in for a smooth landing again. Squad mate going off, I see. What if you enemy aircraft up well? Well getting shot down. Yeah, I've been playing air sim quite a bit today and yesterday. 
going for a landing in our B field it's so so weird after having played them for quite a few hours. But I'm not gonna complain about it. This is quite a bit easier as well. Just a little more effort, and victory will surely be ours. Our team seems to be doing well. Let's see if we can keep that up. Beauty quite popping off in the Italian destroyers. I'm quite following them. Seems that we're about to capture B. It's nice. Now can we actually still find some targets to shoot? Or to bomb? I think there's quite a few destroyers actually around B area. Yeah, there's quite a few destroyers over there. Doesn't seem like there's too many enemy destroyers around A. One enemy destroyer, I think, heading to C. That's not really a concern. And there's a few enemy destroyers around A, actually. I think I'm gonna help out around A. I think we'll be able to decap B. But I do want to hold on to A. There's an enemy plane also heading in for our ship defending it. Yeah, we're decapping B. Oh, there's a cyclone about somewhere. Or there was. Not, this is not really a good map for coastal vessels, in my opinion. Again, it's, it's too large. It's a very good map for blue water vessels, I think. But not good for coastal. Coastal vessel and a destroyer. Our main target is, of course, going to be the destroyer. Though, if I get both of them in the blast ranges, I'm not going to complain. One way. That's a lot of damage. Knocked out. Now the coastal vessel is still around there. Let's see if we can knock him out. Strafing runs. No. Okay. That's not what we want to see. Seems I don't think I have my ground target belts equipped at the moment. But I instead have my. I mean. Ooh, those 50 mils hurt. Yeah, those little flames are very nice effects. That's another coastal battle there. Oh, I did have my ground target belt. Okay. And yeah, this match is practically over already. Enemy forces have 
Doesn't even. Oh, actually, can I? Nah, because the spawn's way too far away from somewhere. And that's much. Got the speed upgrade, lovely. And then what do I want next? I'm gonna get, take 40mm TF just for the memes. And then ventilation ammo wetting might be good. So I think I'm gonna replace you with an actual force. Uh, like the Japanese destroyer. There we go. And swap to feet. TF. Alrighty. Is the Yugur the... Hold on, what? How did I... No. How, how, how did I get a point towards it already? I haven't played any rank 3s yet. Oh well. Oh yeah. Um Deutsch have to go real quick, so I'm just gonna yeet him out of here. There we go. Hmm. Did I get a torpedo kill when I was in a plane? Did I get a torpedo kill with us when I was on a plane? I think I might have. Because B7 is a rank 3, that's for sure. Oh well. And now we just wait, wait for the queue. I should really replay the Japanese cruisers at some point for some fun. Although I might want to grind out the other trees first. Metport is actually one of the maps I quite like for destroyers, especially the spawn. Can sit around here. Although th this, there's a little gauntlet you have to run, hope not to get one shotted. Ooh, an Elbing. That's one of the new ships I wanted to take a close look at as well. And it's oh boy. Oh boy, it's it's the rat in, in an Elbing. I forgot to act. I, I thought I, ch I ch actually chose my spawn there. Hmm. I only just noticed I spawned way too far out here. Oh well, this can this can work in my advantage. I guess it is. It is the actual napalm rat. He's been having a really rough time in the, in the Andrea Doria. Quite a few of my buddies have been seeing him in matches just getting one shot at the start of every match. Uh, we're up to quite a bit, let's look by them.
is slowly chipping away at his model. Okay, that's scary. What's that? The Alpine looks like a very interesting little cruiser, although it also at the same time looks quite bad. I haven't actually taken a closer look at it since the bit went live. But I remember those shells not looking too good. System Tashkent. Oh, very nice. Actually, 15 seconds for a smoke funnel. Ah, the two bodies are also like that. Makes sense. Yeah, you, you can join after this battle mag, of course you can. Also mag, I have I have chosen the pain for the 40 mils. I have chosen the TF for the absolute meme of it. Also, we have the rat. We have the actual rat in our game. Actual rat. I don't think in, in this matchmaking it's only 5 0. I think an Albing should do all right. I'd, I'd be surprised if he. He's playing the Albing. I'm, and I'm surprised if he wouldn't survive this match. It's just 5 0. That's a gearing. Probably just getting around to every single new ship in this update to make a video on them. Oh, the album. I really should get the album myself and see what it's like. I don't think naval PV will happen anytime soon. To a certain extent, it already is, with this zombie horde still being a problem. Are the gangs over there? Eh, just speculative torpedoes there. have somebody making their way onto A, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, I genuinely suggest if you want to see naval builds with a bit more... A bit different, I think the best option for you is just try to find communities that will host events like that. Um, they're kind of difficult to run. Especially if you want to do PvE. Because War Thunder's AI is not exactly known to be the most competent. You will try that pretty quickly. I think we look like the 37s on this German destroyer. Keep shooting me. And the main guns. But we just continue to knock those out. Eventually knock them out. 
One more salvo should do it. And there we go. That torpedo turret has just completely been blown open. First time I've seen one in that state. And now it's back to normal. Is this the gearing? No, is it? No, it isn't. It's a Tashkent. Equally scary, but um, I think I can heal with a Tashkent. Can't. He just suddenly just quit. And he's dead. The rat got him. Uh, what will be faster? My turret or my torpedoes? And my torpedoes will be faster. Lost blue. Get him on target. Torpedoes away. Get to the island. Get to the zone. Get some repairs underway. Now that's the gearing, I think. Uh, there we go. There's one of his turrets. You know, one of mine. Yep. Be gone with your foul turrets. I shouldn't be repairing and extinguishing the fire at the same time, but it's already too late. That's quick reassist. K2. You know the annoying thing about K2 is that I can't actually deal with them too well. Because they're pretty armored. In the bow, so let's see if we can aim a little bit higher. Yeah, the main hurt the armor as well. That's not really a kill I can get. Let's see if the guy who we're going to torpedo is still around. Hey, you dutchy. Pretty rare sight. Where is the rat in his albing? There he is, over at sea. Which torpedo still has a reload? Oh, they all have like one torpedo reload, okay. I think there's like a torpedo in each launcher. Mm, that'll do. I don't want to launch all of my torpedoes against him. Oh, what's that? A Corosa. That thing's actually really easy to deal with. Because it's quite susceptible to high explosive damage. And that's game over. Kind of mediocre. But it will. It's better than a bad match. Battle trophy. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about extra backups. Uh, ammo wetting is what I wanted. 
Good for range fund, that's probably what I should do next. And invite Mag. Good point, good point, Milk. Good mo good point. The rat didn't get murdered, so it's a bad game by default. Although, I don't think you can do... Th there's hardly anything you can do wrong with an, with an owl being at, you know, just a 5-0 match. I should take a closer look at the Albing. Does it still have kind of bad shells? But six. Did it have AP on the death server? I don't remember. But that's the explosive mass and all of it is kind of low. Like what, what is the explosive mass on a 127 in comparison? Quite a lot more. They're both ready. Yep. It's quite a weird progression to see the Hatsuharu after the Yugumo. It's still weird. I think it would have been better to just flip these two around. Put Hatsuharu before Yugumo. Because you have, you have a 36 ship, a 42 ship, a 33 ship. Very weird. Very, very strange. Well. Let's hope we get it down here this time. Same map, different side though. And will we see the rat again? Actually, choose the correct spawn this time. Is the rat here? Not that I can see. Moffats. Phantoms. Yep, 5 0 again. I've enjoyed the Harukaze. Not the Harukaze, the Hatsuharu. Why do I keep calling this thing the Harukaze? I don't know. Yeah, I have been enjoying the Hatsuharu. Repeater angles are a bit awkward. Especially for that middle launcher. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's it's another IGN destroyer. And the one extra third four does actually do a surprisingly amount of work helps of um, going bow in. She's also pretty speed speedy when spaded. Oh there is one. That's good. Leander, so this is a 5-3 game then. The single Leander is still a 5-3. There goes the premium. <laughs> Oof. I think that's a zombie running himself ashore. Running himself aground. See if we can knock out some of his turrets. The one thing I'm kind of shocked about with the um, Atsuharu is there's no cameras for it yet. It's been almost a week, is it, since the update bot? Though it is just a destroyer, I guess. It's not one of the fancy new battleships. But I would love to see a nice little camo for this. Oh. Hmm. 
need to slow down to let the code earlier pass. Here comes a TF 40 mils. Let's see if he'll do any damage. T2 has dropped his bombs and I think I'm going to be in a blast zone. No, he hasn't dropped his bombs yet. We're flying around. Oh, got a hit with one of the 40s. There we go. And he's going to the drink. Guns really quickly. I need somebody to kill him before he kills me. So may I have thought I was done for, but I'm not yet. I'm not yet out of this fight. Engines, they do tons of damage. Trying to break my gun, maybe. There we go. One more salve to the rear turret will do it for me, and I'm dead. Cool. Let's see, I can help him repair now. There we go. Wait with him a bit. Oh, there's. Oh, oh, that's the peer that I have me. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's just hope he didn't launch a second torpedo. Oh, he, he, he has launched more torpedoes. But not at me. So I don't care. Enemy Harukaze. The hell out of here and maybe get into A. I do love the fact that we got the Hatsuharu in this refit. It's one I really, really wanted for quite a while. That is a nest machine, oh boy. I'll knock out the front gun. Those are a lot of rockets. Knock out the rear gun. And now we just light them up. Keep on lighting it up. There we go, 13%. Got a few good salvos and he'll be dead. There we go. Mr. Shimi knocked out. I think it was kind of redundant for me to get away. You should only shoot an aircraft, and I don't see any aircraft. Hmm, strange. It's the final turn. Okay then. I will try to get a bit of FRP. Oh, and by the way, um, I've, that's is quite old for the so yeah, but I mean like user camos for the um, Hatsu Hatsuharu. It's one of those yet. 
Yeah, like this, this was definitely one of the destroyers I really wanted to see for Japan. Hatsu Haru. Damn, okay. Because it is a very unique Japanese destroyer. It is, I think, the only one with a super firing power at the front that isn't Akazuki. And, it, and the funny thing, oh, hold on, let me, let me get these torpedoes forward. None of the torpedo launchers are at a single line. Like, the middle one is center line. This rear one is off-center to the right, and the front one is off-center to the left. And I love it. I love that it's so wonky. The dude 40 mils kind of hurt a bit because they're kind of bad anti-aircraft guns. But I, I love it, but it is genuinely one of the um, Japanese destroyers I had on my wish list to see. Also, the fun thing about these torpedo launchers is so they're offset in this axis, right? But also, none of them are on the same height. This, like, this one is lower than this one, and this one is higher up than the other two. It's the torpedo launchers on this ship is so are so cursed, and I love every single bit about it. I love it. It's so good. Then you have this weird frontal setup. Just, I, I love the ship. I really, really wanted to see it for quite a while. There's only one more Japanese explorer I'd like to see in the tech tree. And that's a Shiratsu. Oh god, a Shiratsu. Basically, um, the Yudachi. This tech tree version of a Yudachi would be nice. Quite a maneuver this guy is making. Oh, he's launched torpedoes against a teammate. Against a Tran. Okay. You're Bari. Oh, he's getting missiled. Well, let's let's just give him a few torpedoes, just in case. Just in case he's out there, but nope, he couldn't. Didn't have the chance. I'm cutting the Douglas off, so let's give him a bit of space. I still quite like the Ubari, but that is not how you play it. You don't, don't just sail broadside onto all the enemies. I'm surprised over there. I think I'll turn around for that. Or I could just sneak up in here. Engine's a bit damaged, let's repair that. Get me up to full speed again. Enterprise is done. Perfect. And our team seems to be wiping the floor of them. Which is excellent. A little more effort and victory will be ours. Poor you, Bari. Going to the depths like that. Destroy the target. Why do you miss this one, 11? 
Oh, he's not even on. He's not even inside of the map board that I can see. Is he high up? Oh, there he is. I don't have TF for the main guns yet, so I can't actually attempt to shoot him down. That's a Moffat sunk. There's one guy on their team with zero death. Where is he? Is that missile going for the 11? Ooh, ooh, is that a hit? Ooh, a miss. Oh, the 111 seems to be quite damaged already. There he is. Enemy destroyer right there. Back him off it. Yeah, the harder cars is a very fun destroyer, especially if, if you have a good map for it. Good matchmaking for it as well. Too bad. Bunch of assists. Now, I need to start thinking of what I'm actually going to play after I've spaded my Hatsuharu. Because I'm getting closer to it. Shall we get the main gun TF? I think we shall. Pumps. And I'll do smoke screen. Oop, Mag is already gone again. He's just joining us for one match then. No problem, Mag. And off we go then. And now we just wait for the queue again. What will I play after this? I'm kind of tempted to try and spade my Congo and Arena, but at the same time I don't want to, since that's a lot of bonus RP I'll be missing out on if I actually spade them now with nothing to research. And Battleship's not really my thing anyways. But at the same time I also need to catch up on my British soon. Mm. Another up tier to 5 -0. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, that there, there, the three nations I want to keep up to date with you are my Japanese, my British and my Americans. Because I think they're going to be the most interesting navies for the game. I just... Mm, I don't know, man. Like, the, the Japanese tree is a personal passion of mine. I just want to have their ships. But the British and the Americans... 
I want to keep up to date in case they get some battleships. I don't particularly care for either of them. I'm like, mm, why you? Russia. The thing is, Russia will get interesting battleships, but will they get anything else interesting? Modern ships, I, I, I yeah, I don't know if they'll have interesting modern ships, I guess. But I think I'm st I still have a slight bet that at one point they will introduce carriers and submarines. And if if they were to ever add carriers, then America, Britain and Japan are definitely the most interesting ones to have at that point. But I'm not going to keep my hopes up. It's just that like, the Japanese, I, I want the cruisers and, and destroyers for Japan, because they're very wacky. Um, the Americans? I don't know, the Americans are just the other side of the Pacific Theater, so I kind of want them to complement my Japanese tree. The British, I think, will have some of the more interesting battleships. Like, the Nelson is going to be interesting, the King George V looks wacky and interesting. The war spite is... Or the World Wars with Queen Elizabeth class is very... I want it as well. It's like... I, I really should grind my British. Keep those up to date. Just my British and Americans in general. Because I've, I've gotten the battleships and both of them and then I just stop. Ooh, does it? Oh, only four... Oh, well, only 14 inch guns though. It does get 10 of them. It just looks... they look interesting to me, the British battleships. Like the Nelson and the um, King George V. And then if, the, if you add the um, quote-unquote paper battlecruisers into the mix, like the, N, the N3 and the G3, they're very interesting as well. But, uh, both in looks and an armament. I think which one didn't one of those carry Did they both carry 16 inch guns? And I don't remember anymore. Did they carry 16 inch guns or like did one of them carry 457, like the 18 inch guns so to speak? I don't remember. And we float plane? Ooh. I'll go into A after this capture. Six. Basically it's pretty awesome. So the, the G3 is the one with 16 inch guns, right? And with the weird third configuration. Right. I, th I think they both have the same weird third configuration, but I really don't remember. I just know that they're kind of interesting ones. Uh, I'm gonna launch torpedoes at the Takuma. There we go. Atlanta up? Okay, that's not good. Yeah, that's why the British battleships, I think, they're, they're the most interesting to me. The Japanese ones I just want because for collection reasons. And the Americans to kind of have a complete Pacific collection. That's for the same reason I kind of want the British as well, to kind of just have all the Pacific ships. So the other nations don't really care. I don't really care about the other nations too much. Be honest. Ooh, I'm not too familiar with naval terminology. Oh boy. He was closer than I thought he was. Turn, turn, turn the guns. Turn the ship, turn the guns. That was kind of disappointing. Even more so. There we go. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, the French ships as well, especially their battleships look very funky. The French Navy is also one of the, the kind of piques my interest. Oh god, the Atlanta is right there. That's not good. Ooh, one of my torpedo hits the Kuma. Good, for me at least. Ah, that's what you mean, yeah. No. A flat stern. Atlanta has switched targets, which is good for me. Aircraft. I, I kind, I'm also kind of curious how far they are willing to go with paper designs for ships. Um. Because there are like a few Japanese ship battleships that I do want to see. Although they wouldn't have any anti air. Because, of course, paper designs and they were only designed before the war. But there's the Amagi and Tosa, or Kaga, or whatever class you want to call them. Which I, I think we're going to see them, the Amagi. Because it just. It makes sense to fill the gap between the Yamato and the Nagato. But then there's. Also the number thirteen, but it never got it never got its um, guns made. Did it the number thirteen? But it, it's a really interesting looking design to me because it's basically a Nagato but of eighteen inch guns, and I I don't know something about it looks really interesting to me. And then there's of course my beloved B65, which I purely won because of the 100mm secondaries. Hey, Atlanta didn't move because Atlanta. That's something I'll never understand. I've seen this three times, I think, this weekend. An Atlanta player in a full down tier just camping. Why? You're in Atlanta, push. There's literally nothing the enemy destroyers can do about you. Other than torpedo, you should sit still too long. The A150, I mean... The A150 is, is... I don't know, I just don't... I don't particularly care about it. Um, Because it is just a Yamato with bigger guns. It isn't inherently interesting to me. Also, I'm going to get bombed on my... I, I'm just... I'm also not familiar with what the secondaries on the A150 are. Because if it's just like a replacement of oh, the 100, the 127s become 100s. And so on, it's just eh, a bit boring. A battleship I would love to see though is the... Um, the late refit of the Ise. And I don't mean like... I mean the the, the um, carrier battleship you say. I really would love to, like to see it. Even if it doesn't have functional planes, I would just love to see that. For my part, it, it doesn't ever need functional planes other than maybe the recon planes. And I, I just love to see it. Because it's such a weird looking ship. I've got like a whole list of Japanese ships I'd love to see. Not necessarily because they're good. I don't re... The things I, I, I know way too many Japanese ships and I really don't know any interesting and wacky stuff for the other nations. But I think... 
what I'd love to see for the US, for example, is just a few more low tier destroyers. Like 3740 would be nice to have a few more of for America. Because they only have the Clemsons, the Alwyn, and then they go all the way up, don't they? And I don't really know what the Americans could get for that kind of low VR stuff. Were there actually further designs for the um, Akazuki? Like, were those actually historical, or there, because I know I know the war gaming ones. I think we all know the war gaming ones. But I, I, I don't know. They have to be a real design in some part for me to really make sense. Because yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think, historically speaking, there was something like the Harugumo we see in World of Warships, is there? With like an extra turret and this weird 6 tuple launcher. There's just Yakuzuku yeah, 4 turrets, but a bit better, I think? A bit faster, maybe? Or what was it? I don't remember. You know what I would like to see instead of this Egano Kai design? Because I don't think it was a real design, was it? I'd love to see the Oyodo instead. I'd love, absolutely love to see the Oyodo. This is a much more interesting ship. Yikes. Okay, I got that nature. I'd also want to see the Oyodo because there's 100mm secondaries. And it's an actually real ship. But yeah, I think if I were to... They're, they're definitely... I think Oyodo and the BBV EC are like on the top of my wish list for Japan to see. And again, for the BBV EC, I don't want the planes to be functional. I just, I just want to see the ship. Because it also has rocket anti-air, which is funky. But yeah, the Oyodo is definitely a cruiser I want to see, and the BBV EC. Happened to that Kuma I repeated. Actually, no. That's a bit worrying. Ah, oh, yeah, the. Um, I would love to see the uh, Miyoko and the Takao class heavy cruisers as well. Yeah, purely for the eye candy, especially the Maya with the antenna refit. I think the Maya would actually make a really fun, actually a really good premium or event vehicle. And the, the, the problem with EC is um, Halo, they're not recon planes. They're bombers, I think, dive bombers. Which would change things up quite a bit. Although I'm not entirely sure if they were on the EC. They might have been recon planes, but I'm not entirely sure. I think they were meant to be dive bombers. That's kind of the, the problem if you if you make functional planes for the EC. Is you're basically giving a battleship dive bombers. Which is mm, not the best idea. Although I think their payload is only limited to the 250 kilo bombs, maybe the 500 kilo bombs. But I doubt it carry the um, 800s.
I don't have any torpedoes left, so I'm not quite sure I'm going to deal with this earring. We'll get to there. See this torpedo is being launched, so let's take a few evasive maneuvers. I mean, it's the only choice I have, Mag. It's the only choice I have of HE. You can't tell me otherwise. Ooh, Furutaka. Well, Kaku in that case, but the Furutaka class. And I got a Trampton shooting me as well. I am horribly overextended. Oh, the D4Y is actually a really good dive bomber. Um, does it say which kind of D4Y? Because we have them in game, the D4s. Okay, they carry... It depends on the modification, but they can carry 250 kilo bombs. And they're pretty quick. Pretty quick, nimble and small. this for much longer. Yeah. I think, yeah, the deep for white 3 the, the late, the last one we have in game, can carry the bigger bomb load. But the other ones can only carry like 1, 250 and 260s. The check. But yeah, if basically if you give a battleship a reserve of those things, it'll, it can do some damage. You know what? I'll actually take one of those deep fours out next battle and see how much damage I can do with them. And there we go. Game over. Th that's why I'd say just add the, BB the BBV ESO without the planes. Because adding dive bombers to battleships is a bit funky. Especially since you basically would just suicide them because they don't have no value. Uh, is this a spaded Hatsuharu? It seems like it. And there we go. Hatsuharu spaded. Um, D for Ys. They're right here. So the earliest one carries. It's an A. Is that the AP five hundred? Looks like it. Yeah, the two fifty is a more adequate bomb size here. Single two fifty. Then the others. What did it, what's this for? Get them to carry. So the same bomb load, some rockets, and a two fifty and two sixties. And then you have the Y three. Which can carry the best bomb that it can carry is the three two fifties. It is the float plane version, but I don't know which version it is. I I assume it would probably only carry a single two fifty or a single five hundred. That's still quite a lot of damage you can actually. Did. But let's say just it's a D four Y one. I can create it there. And are we going to up to to battleship levels and see what it does? I kind of don't want to do that. It's not going to do much to battleships. I'll say that much. That bomb is not going to do much. But 11 of them might. Although, hmm. I don't know. They might be interesting compared to the other third planes, but I mean... It, it all depends on if, if they just use the current flow play mechanics with it, or if they actually do something with it. Something else. But, oh well, I think that's how to spade it, so what am I going to do now? Um, I don't really need to play the new T-51B. So I already get kind of a feel of that thing now. 
with its new gun layout. I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. So, what were we going to do next? I don't have anything to grind for Japanese. I have quite a few British ships to grind, but do I want to grind them is the question. Especially with no premium account anymore. I don't really want to play battleships with no, uh, with no premium account. I think that's not going to end well. Um, I can't test sail the cyclone yet. It's kind of annoying. Do I want to do 3-3? Three, three? kind of want to do 3-3. Three, three. So I think that's what we might do. But let's take a actual coastal lineup because I kind of want to research them. You are unrealistic. And I think, yeah, if you don't mind, we'll do some 3-3. Three, three. Try to grind some, and actually take a look at the cyclone. And just grind the American coastals in general. It's something I needed to do anyways. The funny thing is, I have the LCS. There's decals on the LCS, because I used to have it before the naval progress reset. Way back in the naval beta. So I really just want to regain my LCS. Do I actually still have stats for it? If I go US Coastal Fleet, realistic. Yeah, I do I, st I do still have stats for my LCS way back in the day. The monster man. It was so it was such a monster. Um oh, he's left the squad. Yeah, sure, thank you, no problem. I'm just going to do 3-3 three, three then. Still got quite a few modifications to get. And quite a lot of research to do. Although I really want to play the D4Y now. For some reason, I want to play it. I think after this match I'll see if I can make a Japanese lineup with the, D4, with the D4Y. Play that a bit. Oh, this is not a bad map to get. Mm, yep. Let's spot a. Gunners are searching for airborne targets. <laughs> Up to to the Everloving Hell, by the looks of it. So this is actually a bad map to be on now because the store spawns are right there. I need to get there as quickly as possible, but it's not going to happen anymore. Yeah, this is not going to end well for me. Any familiar names? Yep. Is that a frigate? God, it's a um, Köln cloth frigate as well. Which is not something I really wanted to see at this moment. Mainly because I can't really hurt them. And that definitely confirms I got a fall up here. Well, I'm lost. I dare you. Please just ignore me. Please just ignore me. Yeah, I think after this battle I'll just do some D4Y shenanigans. 
or try to do that in naval at least. Well, they're, they're very low BR. I don't know if I should up tier them or play them at that or their own BR. Actually, 2.0 is a really good BR to play coastal. Yeah, I might just do that. Play some 2.0. There's a D for Y. I don't think Japan has very good 2.0s. There's some great 1.7s there, so it should still be fine. There we go, they're coming into this area. Bofers. Yeah, this is just a good control. No guns remaining, no control, and burning rapidly. You know, the more you think about it, the weirder it really is the naval research system. Because that thing should not be... Like, okay, the loot back is a different story. But those destroyers, they're cheaper to research than the ship I'm in. Way stronger, higher BR of course as well. I think I'm actually just not going to play this match. Because that was quite awful. There's no targets for me to shoot at. So I'll just do some deep for Y shenanigans. Yeah, man. Oop, not too bad. We'll cancel that. Thank you. Where is my Japan? Uh, I can just change this lineup now. 2.0. And let's first add the centerpiece, which is going to be our default Y. And then look at the coastal vessels we have. Hmm, not looking too good. What else do we have? Of course, that's the same slot as default Y. Hmm, these two in the south are not bad. But I kind of need a third. Is that a fighter? Because why not? I mean, I can deal with that cage, really. It should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's see if we can have some fun with D4Y. In the meantime, I need to think of what other wacky ships I'd like to see for the other nations, because I really don't know too many for them. Like Britain doesn't like what's the bit like the best battleship Britain's going to get theoretically? Isn't it actually N3 and this G3 is are going to be the best battleships to have? Because I know the Vanguard is the latest one, but is it that much better than anything they could have otherwise?
Because Vanguard has 15 inch guns, doesn't it? When it comes to the Americans, it's going to be Iowa. And then modernized Iowas. Probably going to be the best they've got. There's also the possibility for the Montana, but a mm, bit weird, that chip. Well, what Wargaming calls the Montana. Yeah. And I, I always thought that the Vanguard is a bit meh. Considering it's like the last battleship ever built or something. So I think the G3 and the N3 are probably the most interesting the British are going to get, the most powerful. Then the Americans are going to the Iowas. Did they ever actually make the 18 inch guns for like a hypothetical refit for those ships? I really can't see what, what the Americans can have for paper designs, quote unquote, for battleships. Also, do, do they really need paper designs to fill their tree out? I don't think they do. Or like unfinished ships. The Russians, of course, are going to get Sovetsky CUs, there's like no question about it. This is going to be shocking. Just in this case. Okay then. How many Soviet battleships actually do we still... Can we still get? Oh, battleships. Capital ships. I know the Stalingrad is still on the table. Was she at 12 inch guns? Oh, isn't there like a, a PK-like ship with 14-inch guns? The, um, what is it called? Oh, what is it class called again? It's not the Borodino, is it? Or something like that? I forget what that ship is called. But I, but I swear there was like some Russian ship with 14 inch guns. Um, one that's similar to the PK and the Marie and stuff like that. Yeah, Borodin, okay. Because that. That could be a very potent ship for the Russians still to get. Rodina. And, and be a nice, you know, filler between that, whatever they have now, and the um, Sovetsky Soyuz, which has 16 inch guns, I think. Or should. Should have 16 inch guns. Nope, that's a torpedo. Do the Italians get anything better than like a Roma? Like hypothetically? We're of course, you have the Germans, which get a. I completely forget what that pla what their what that name was again for those planned ships, but they get ships with big guns as well, with like at least sixteen-inch guns. You go from paper. The Italians get anything. Hmm. Oh, that's scary. I'm surprised I'm still at 100% crew, okay. 
But these 20s are for sure doing some work. I'm actually forcibly reloading. I want them at full ammo. Come on, lower the guns. Uh, read it. Read it. I think that's an AI though, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, it was an AI. So it didn't really matter, but still. You know, if this was a coastal match before the split, I would have been long dead by now. I should not be allowed to just, like, go straight to sea without anything stopping me. I still don't like what it did in the naval split. Don't agree with it. Go. And now I've started taking some damage. That's got to be a player, and so it is. Oh, that's a big old boat. I'm not the front gun, I think. Reload, 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 reload. Machine guns actually do the most damage. And he knocked out the 20. And the 20 repaired it instantly, okay. Boop. There he goes. I wanted to play my D4 actually, hold on. I think I'm just gonna. Drop it here and get into the deep one. Uh, bomb, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that the Vanguard is like directly a hood, but it's similar to it, isn't it? In like appearance and functionality. Did all, why did I already bomb your airbricks? Now, am I going to hit anything, is the question, with these bombs? I'm trying to look for bigger boats. But I'm not seeing... Uh, that thing over there is kind of slow. Which may make for a good target. Yeah, the, as you can see, the D4Y is not a slow plane. Especially for its PR, of course. So kind of nimble. Rolls a bit slowly though. And I think it should have a bomb sight. It does. Could have deployed my air brake, but it didn't. Wait! It does have a bomb sling, and I think I missed horribly. Kinda of did. I think it's a 40 mm here, does it? Eep. Also your plane engine. I see plane. I do carry two machine guns, so let's see if we can hurt this plane. Fire plane? Am I going to get jumped on? No. So I'm just going to harass this fire plane. Whoop. Oh, okay, the anti-air is messing me up. It's too close to the airfield. Yeah. Also, it's quite a small plane. Don't be surprised. This might be difficult to hit for anti-air. It looks like a Dornier 17 in front of me. Just a few 
Tracing hits. And now we're hunting a plane. Ooh. There it goes. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, he should be down. Was it a plane chasing me as well? It just... Was it my own tail that just flew over me? I think it might have been my own tail. Well... We tried. Let's get this 20s back in action. I do actually have anti-air rounds for 75, okay. Let's look. Actually, no. I think I might use a 75. My guns on all targets. Yeah, they didn't. Um, I, I think they were basically kamikazes at the point. They just they were supposed to launch off of EC and land on an actual carrier, weren't they? Something like that. I think that's that was or land near on a um, either an island or something like that. But yeah, I, th I think there weren't provisions to actually recover them on EC. a pretty nice high velocity gun which I've kind of forgotten about there we go we're not going to win this match though sadly no oh. hello yeah that's it I'm just trying to think of what other if other nations had like weird and wacky ships I'd like to see, but I really can't think of any. So what do we do now? Like do we actually grind battleships? Do we not? Yeah, I could actually tassel, tassel the kutches off, but I don't really want to. Um, hmm. What do we do? No, it's not a gap in my Italian tree as well, isn't there? Because of the new destroyer. The thing is, we we do have the the ESA with all six turrets and the files. But I just want the one of the the BBCV because it's such a dumb ship. I just want to see it. And it's it's literally I think one of a kind practically. Oh yeah, the the British the HMS Furious before it became a carrier those ships. Those would be. Well, I would love to see those, because they have very big guns. Um, 
But what am I going to do now? What am I going to play? Could do some low-tech cruisers. Is there, any, is there any specific cruiser I want to play except for the Japanese? Not really. Grind the Elbing, but I do. And we have five sevens to do it with. I think, I think I might just play some more Japanese ships. Because I'm in the mood for it. Uh, I'll keep that lineup actually because that's quite fun. I'll change, just change the lineup again. So, I think I'm going to do 5L. So let's do that. And the Isuzu, what? Where does she fit in? There she goes. And then we have record all B7 in here, I think. There it is. And this is just an actual bomber, isn't it? You know, I'll change that, and I think I'm gonna go for memes instead. Do I have the PJ2 there, do? And I'll just play that for a bit. Okay, fake violence. I am going to first spawn my cruisers because I do actually want to play them and not my PJ2. I think I'll do something crazy and first spawn Isuzu. Let's see how long that lasts. Yeah, that's that's actually a good point as well. The later refit Mogami's, but I think they were scout cruisers, though, weren't they? They kind of replaced the Tonis, didn't they? Or like complemented them? Yeah, they carried they carried scout planes, 1944 Mogami's, Mogami, Mogami's. I'm not sure why not, but. It's just, there's so many weird and unique Japanese ships they could add. And I just don't know of any ships like that for the other nations and I feel really bad about it. Because I just can't think of any other ships that could be cool like that. Like you have the weird half carrier Mogami, you have the weird Ise. You have the Otago and Miyoko class and the Maya refit, which is the NTR version, which is very cool. You've got Oyodo. Which would be a very nice 5-3 to add with the Agano. You've got Nishin, possibly. Which is like a, a seaplane tender, but with four... No, three. Um, dual 140mm turrets at the front. The same turrets as you see in Yubari, but three of them. Which is very cool. Um, what else do you have for them? That's about it, really. Just a lot of cool ships. I can't really immediately think of them for the other nations. Cool ships like that. The frame rate is suffering, and I don't know why. I think I'll know what I'll do after this match as well. Seeing as there's a new Italian destroyer, and I do actually still have to give the Paula a good old play. Actually, do some justice to it. Because my first match in the Paula on stream didn't go well, but I played it off stream like once or twice, and it went a bit better. So I'll give that another try.
I kind of don't like the fact that me and the Ubari are the only two cruisers on our team at the moment. This thing's already shooting me. That seems to be a zombie shooting me, but he is hitting me. That's kind of annoying. Ooh, much closer. recently discovered as well, well kind of recently, you know how anti air guns won't open up at certain targets but it's like certain um, gun calibers right? I found that it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter like what the armor of the target is but just purely what the target is, is classified as because I've had the 25mm guns which do not shoot at cruisers, at, at destroyers sorry I've had them, I've seen them open up on a K2, which is arguably a very well armored crew destroyer. But because it's classified as a gunboat, the AI gunners will shoot at it, even though it's actually well armored compared to anything else you could shoot at. Really, really strange. But that's the way they decided to do it. I also just suddenly thought of of cool ships to like. The Americans could get a bunch of these weird landing craft as coastal vessels, like the ones with big guns, the ones with tons of rockets, the ones with tons of anti-air. Like I know this was posted was it in my Discord or, so, or the boat's Discord, but those look really cool. Everybody just dying, I don't know why. There, a British destroyer. I should be able to deal with that with high explosive. If we don't do something fast. These guns are really low velocity compared to the destroyer guns. Seems like he's slowing down quite a bit. I've only really just started playing 5.0 and it's a full down tier I think for as far as I can see. Is that the Elbling? That flag is massive, jeez. But it's fine at this PR. Although I am pun kind of punishing myself with these as well. Um, I already spaded my Hatsu Haro and that was fine as well. Trying to see what I can play. That looks like kind of fun. Although I should probably really grind my other trees, but just don't really want to. I also don't know why my frame rate is dying when I go to third person. Yes, it is. Torpedoes launched by this PR206. Owl being burned to death. Good for me. Twenty-five, so I'll surely melt this pure two six. And off we go. Ooh, aircraft. Mosquito. This is 
something we see every day. It has Uncle Tom's equipped as well. Those might hurt. They hurt a bit. We are fine. Ships are. I think those are both British destroyers. Nope, that's a German destroyer and a British destroyer. I think it's a British destroyer that's actually really damaging me. Get on the way. And I should really have launched my torpedoes on the chance, but I will. Hmm. Are we really ready to breathe slow? Another zone captured, we have the advantage. I know what's wrong with it, but it's really annoying me. Because my frame rate is fine when I zoom in. It just isn't when I zoom out. I've gone through the ready ammo of all my main guns. They're now going to reload in 10 seconds and I'm already dead. Damn. And there we go. Yeah, that's the other fun thing. The plate mechanic is now on all cruisers. Which is really fun when you already have a very small plate to protect yourself. Let's aim to equip the torpedo and see what kind of damage we can do. I'm not going to go after those destroyers, because I actually have quite a decent out here. I think there's probably going to be cruisers over there. Looks like a destroyer to me, so I don't really want to shoot me trying to repeat it. Although he seems quite slow. Maximum speed is 556. For the torpedo at least. He's been knocked out. There's something that's smoke over there, that's a destroyer in the distance. Is it also a destroyer or is it a cruiser? That's a cruiser. Or is it a Moffat? I really can't tell. What I can tell though is that it's shooting me. Although it isn't shooting with VT. Which is good. Although I'd rather it not shoot me at all. I don't think I have much choice in the matter. It was a Cadiz, okay. Makes sense. There's no other targets I can see other than this. Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's going to be VT. I am not going to mess with that. I am not going to mess with that. Because see, the zombies use their AI when firing the main guns, and the AI against aircraft is still very, very lethal. Especially since they're all firing VT by default. I'm just going to not mess with that. There's something over there, probably the Jervis or the German destroyer that shot me. So 
Let's see if I can give them a surprise. Jerovis is still alive. Problem is, it has very, very dangerous anti-air. And it is behind a rock for me. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm fine. But I'm not going to be able to torpedo them. There's Jervis. Torpedo away. What? Why did the... Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, this... Ah, oh, I forgot about it. This plane is bugged. There was a bug a while ago that some torpedo planes couldn't drop the torpedo. I completely forgot about that. The Key 67 is still one of those victims of that bug. I cannot drop the torpedo. That's annoying. I completely forgot about that. And the Arab is all the way over there. Now he's gonna chill out. Doesn't matter, I can't change my ordnance anyway on the runway. That's annoying. The funny thing is, they said they fixed that bug a while ago. They said they fixed that, but they clearly haven't. Not on all planes, at least. Oh, that's annoying. I was going to get that Jervis as well, I'm sure of it. But oh well. Now I can have some fun with the 140s again. I could have sworn I had a camo on my Sandai. Hmm, that's not enough. Now I have all my Kuma. Something up in the sky. Oh, 111. Let's keep the pressure on. Victory is close. From the sun there, oh boy. Yo, my children. It's really that good of a match. It's the Japanese 5 0s. Can't really expect too much out of them. So, what was he going to play again? You know what? I should probably stay. But keep playing rank threes. Actually, is there a challenge I need to do? This is what I still need to do, and I don't have much of time left. That might be good to do. That's also something I still need to do, which I can do as well. I think what am I going to do for that? Rank three plus. Rank three plus. But I also need a bomber, don't I? Eh, not necessarily. I just need to get three kills. Was it win a match? Oop, this was already over. Go then. So win 15 minutes with at 15 missions with at least three enemy vehicles in each battle. I mean, that can be doable in Japan. But if I just play... Yeah, I'll just I'll keep. Should I keep playing this or Should I go through four seven? 
think I'm gonna do four seven with the mm, with the B7A. Let's get the cuck one there. B7, which is where is it again? There it is. At the crew slot. Akizuki, because why not? Oh, and my game just crashed. Well then, uh, I'll, I'll, that will be back in just a second, in a moment. Apparently it didn't want me to play 4-7. It saw my addition to the Akizuki to the lineup as heresy. Oh well. That hasn't happened before. Very strange. I, I'm sorry about the black screen, but I'll just, just deal with it for just a few seconds. It should be the game again soon. Very strange. Let's see if you can see it again. Zoom. There we go. Now let's continue our heresy lineup before we crash again. Touch your your bonus better premium modifiers. And I can touch your Kishima. Kishima is better, yeah. There we go. And the V7 will be equipped with lots and lots of tiny bombs. So I'm just gonna try operation time failure and then bombing accuracy. And there was another task as well, wasn't there? Do I have any battle pass? I have the type 51A. So I'll do that soon as well. Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna be for some that's gonna be for another time. But let's do this first. Actually, is it type? I could do this in 2.3. Actually, yeah, let me do this in 2.3. Because I think I can just get another bomber. Uh, let me just make another lineup. Yeah. If I can get a two three, I'll get the from A with backups. I'll have to equip backups for it. And if realistic, get some backups. Activate like a few. Yes. And what else? What else? Now I need to find bombers. Bombers have lots of 60 kilo bombs, which B6 should have. And I want to replace either of these. This is one. Does this one have anything with 60 kilo bombs? Not really. I know this one has because it's my bomber slot. Oh, but you do need a. Ah, you need a rank 3 air vehicle. Hmm. Do I have any rank 3 two, two somethings? I don't. So I can't do these two at the same time, so I'll just do the 4-7 then. Because then I can do these two at the same time. And I'll just do this one later. I'll try to get the bombing off. That's going to be my main objective in this. Then I can switch to my other lineup. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't. The problem is I don't really play Grand Ruby, and I know that the B7 works if I do that. I've th I've gotten that th those three guilds with the B7. Uh, I am going to take Akazuki first because why not? Have some fun with the Akazuki. Yeah, basically, I, as soon as I get enough spawn points for my B7, I'm jaying out and getting, I'm flying the B7. Yeah, the thing is, actually, if you carpet bomb destroyers with the 60 kilo bombs, it'll usually burn them down. That's how I got the three kills. Not not by bombing boats, but. Actually, one of them was a bomb, was boat, I think, that I bombed. But two of them were definitely destroyers that just burned down because of the bombs. It's not easy, that's for sure, but it is doable. Though I think I also did it at 3-7, because I only did, I only cared about the bomber. I was at 4-7 like I'm doing now, but well... Patrol ship. Hmm. Oh! Ow. That's not nice, Douglas. That's very not nice, Douglas. not nice Douglas but I think the 100 mils are also not being very nice to you if I can actually hit him come on there we go and just burn down Bridge has been taken out again. That's Mr. Shimi. Or the Black Rodney or whatever it is. Ah. I was not really expecting to be like on the front line of Makazuki, but I guess I am. Of course, I'm being fired by, at by zombies as well. And there may be zombies, but those 5 inch guns hurt when they hit. Stop the repairs because I've got all my guns back. can't turn or do anything, so I just have to accept this. Almost have enough spawn points though. Almost have enough spawn points for the bomber. Shanty air guns knocked out. The elevators, stuff like that. Lagorotni, okay, that's what you call it. Grand Massively.
so many of them. God damn. Um, and I can't really... You know what? That pretty cheap with an operative. Of course it is. I'm gonna kill this PT bird first. Because I can actually kill it before I die. I just need a ping. Oh, God damn it, he's behind a rock. Give me a kill before I die. Actually, no, I killed the Douglas. This is going to be kill number two. I'm going to need to somehow win this game as well. Not just as few at least. Oh boy. And now let's try and bomb something to B7. That was, yeah. I highly doubt we're going to win this match. I highly doubt it, but I want to try and bomb something. Yeah, we're not winning this. We have a full attacker. It's a full up too, really? Okay. Okay. I didn't even notice it yet. There's something over there, but is it? Well, that's a destroyer, all right. Problem is that it's a court of anti air. Is it a blocker or me actually? Is it one of those the Russian ones as well? Something over there. Let's just try this, man. Let's just try and wiggle my way through the anti air. Arbrick, I need to slow down. I'm locking up. I'm locking up. I'm locking up. Bombs away. And I missed. I'm surprised I missed. Okay then. Uh, I think we might really have to try this at 3-7 because the anti-air is going to be a lot less. We'll finish this match anyway. And then let's do Kako. Let's spawn down here, preferably. And then I'll move myself down to 3-7. Was that a Japanese? Yeah, we have frigates. I have frigates at 3-7. Don't have any proper destroyers. Just gonna wait for all my guns to go to target before I want to open up. I don't believe that right that lead. It could be right, but it just doesn't feel right. And it was right, damn. See if we can hit him with an axe salvo. And hit him we did. Class. It looks like an Oigan to me. I saw red turrets. Well then, this is a very strange match. Kind 
gotta be high. Actually, it does it all right. We're not going to win this match though, which is a bit of a problem. Let's challenge progress. Um, I. The thing is, I want to have an opinion on it, but I can't, because I have, I'm not able to test drive the Cyclone. I still need to unlock the Asphalt before I can even test drive it. But from what little I've seen of it, it is... As a coastal vessel, it looks interesting, but I, I... I don't know what spawn it gets. I don't know if it gets a coastal spawn or a blue water spawn. Because it does have the blue water damage model, which is nice. And the guns aren't the worst when it comes for coastal guns. Pretty neat, actually. Cyclone. I am aware that I do have a scout plane to possibly capture a zone, but I think I should just fight my way onto B. There's a lot of anti air around us. There we go, find the magazine. Speaking of sky planes, that's an auto with his things missing. And for some reason my 120s just aren't shooting at it. Okay. Okay, there's the Eugen, but I, th I believe that plane is the Eugen, so the Eugen is probably not going to shoot at me. Can I shoot him? I'm punished. Oh, I can't. He's shooting back. Oh no. Okay, fine. I have to just make my way on to be at top speed. Surely I can make it in time. Because I would actually kind of like to turn this match around and get a win out of it. But it seems a rather unlikely. Another blackguard at me. Can I turn my guns around? Or I have to deal with the Oregon. Okay, well, way too low. That's better. Perfect, but better. The class, I, I heard that um, the Cyclone class had missiles, but not Cyclone herself. And she doesn't get any missiles in game either. I have play and game too. Damn.
Chinese? What, what, what can you possibly get out of Chinese naval? Honestly, I, I don't. I don't see how they could add Chinese naval. Because what, what do they, like what we have currently, like cruisers, destroyers, battleships, and coastal vessels. I don't see what the Chinese can have to actually make a full on tree. Compared to especially the French, the French really need their naval tree. Do I have frigates? Do just check again. Isuzu and Chidori need to be screwed, but it's no problem. B7 has another crew as well. I think this is not a B7 crew. There it is. And I can add PG2 just in case. And I'll take a T from B, because why not? Although what I, you know what I should actually get? I should use a fighter, like a zero. Because they can also carry bombs, and who knows, I might actually kill a coastal vessel with them. Yep, that was quick. This is definitely a map where I want to spawn the PGO2 first. Going to see BNB. It's not a bad map for like the Isuzu either, but it just it's a good coastal map for the PGO2, I think. As long as it didn't get up tiered. Yeah, the PJ2 no longer has an air search radar, only an air track radar. For some reason, the search radar po still pops up when I do the lock on thing. Kind of funny. No hostile coastal vessels. Really? Kind of shocking. I don't care for the other threes, they can do whatever the fuck they want, but I do not for giving them hat points. We're taking proper coastal buses if they wanted that. An LCS, really? Oh, that's not something I wanted to face right now. I think it's an AI, though. It is. So that definitely helps. Go. Why the smoke, man? I want to see where I'm going. Especially because I have to make a turn. There's an island. Go. Now I can see where I'm going. That LCS was quite a heart attack. But luckily, it was not a player. Else. I have enough spawn points for my B7 already. Okay then. Just I am going to secure the second cap and I'm jumping straight into the B7. Oh, And I'm 
gonna just reach out. So let's get cap. And yeah, that'd be seven. Let's hope we can bomb something with those sixty kilo bombs. I'm not sure if I actually have to bomb a player for it though, but I think I have to. So I should actually look for some player destroyers. And those all look like player destroyers to me. I'm trying to look for anything isolated. Doesn't seem to be anything. Was it friendly there? It is, okay. Enemy forces have captured the zone. The stationary thing right there is probably my target. Open Bombay. Decreased throttle already. Because I do not want to. Oh, never mind, it was sunk. That was sta stationary. But that guy isn't dead yet. And is that a. Like a bono, like a frigate of some sort. Airbrick. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. No, come on. It bombs away, but I don't think it's going to do anything. No, it didn't. Damn. Uh, going to be diff more difficult than I thought. I don't remember what I did to actually get those skills before either. I think I flew much slower. Sound of the gun, that sounds horrible. Gym. And I got a bridge, although I can still turn, perfect. Also a turret is That's good. Because there goes half my firepower. There's somebody else actually shooting me from the back. But as long as he's targeting me, I'm gonna target him. Guns. Oh, 
Yeah, that's going to be fun as well. There's a thing. I might be able to amarack that thing. If I aim low enough with my guns. And there we go. That's three kills and we are close to win. It'll help towards that task. I don't think I can shoot over the dive, can I? No. Is there still enemies on A? There are. Nope, there aren't. Okay. I was just about to rush around the corner of this island. Again, and we're front third now has to reload. And that's game. I should have counted the most task challenge. That one counted, of course that one didn't. Let's, let's try that again. I think this is probably going to be the last match of tonight, so let's try and get a win for this operating time to failure. And there we go to the last match of tonight. South Kvarken. The small South Quark and even better. Mm, oh, not so. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna take the PJ too. It's fun. This is also good enough for the frigates, though.
No. Very annoying thing is now I have a button bound on my flight stick that makes me able to drop like larger groups or clusters of my munitions. I don't have that bound on my keyboard and I keep forgetting what that control actually is for an aircraft in their weaponry. Um, oh, where is it? There it is. Adds that button. Okay, I can do that. Because then, instead of having to like spam my spacebar to drop all ten of the sixty kilo bombs, I just have to hold down that button and it'll drop like most of them at the same time. Well, I'll show you when I can spawn it again. Ooh. The camo for my Hatsuharu is done apparently. Um, I'll download that after this battle. And see what that's like. I've got somebody in my Discord that knows how to make camos for ships. I'm quite curious to see what he did with it. I only gave him one instruction, that's to make the skin green. So, I'm very curious what he did with the Hatsuharu. Where are the enemy coastals? Allied forces have captured a zone. Are there just no enemy coastals? So that'll be a bit of a shame. Coastals. Oh, there is over there. Oh, there's over there as well. Several. This all decided to go to B instead of the more interesting. Hmm. Okay. It's a valid choice. Ooh, okay, stabilize the gun. Start ripping them apart. That's enough for the B7. looking for that guy but I didn't realize he went all the way over there. Oh she broke the gun I suppose but or again. God damn it. And he's down. Yeah because those um, 25s I think they are as well. Take a very long time to reload. It's almost I just caught them on the reload. To be, ooh. That was a big old shell from a big old gun. But I think I'm going to try and rush B, anyways. The ammo, well, the hole, hole broken. Now I should be able to. There we go. That's the option I wanted. 
Um, eight at a time will be fine. So now if you just press space bar, it'll drop eight bombs at a time. Which should make my time on target significantly less. Question now is, what target do I go after? There's something all the way back there which seems very... There's something all the way over here as well. Which seems very interesting. Coastal vessel and a destroyer by the looks of it. Frigate, that's a frigate. I'm... Um, nope, 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 nope. Nope. That frig frigate's going to have radar as well, so he's been locked. So he'll know the exact lead he'll have to give. I really don't want to go for the frigate. Because if I pop up and he's just too far away, I think I'll have to. There he is. It's an SKR. Yeah, I'm way too far away. Um, I thought it was like a bone at first because I only didn't see the four tracers. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone for that. Uh, so now just get three kills and win. Do that. We already have three kills, so that's fine. Now we just have to ensure the win. Oof. Yes, QD, I've seen. I've seen. I've seen the message. I'll check it out after this battle. Where it should be sinking with only a 4% crew. I guess. Should we go finish them off? Not. That's okay too. Okay, that's a bit annoying. I think we can actually pan him. Closer before I can really deal with that. That K2. Problem is that K2 can deal with me. That's for sure. Outside of my comfortable engagement range. It's annoying. 
Especially when you get domed in the bridge. my rear gun again. The rear gun on this ship for some reason really likes to get knocked out. I'm losing speed. Of course we are. Good. Directions though, nice. I have no clue what my teammates are doing, but it's not much. Pieces, eh? That's going to come in handy. Our the hostile SKR is just knocking everybody out, even though they're really not that difficult to deal with. If you can just manage to find their ammo rack. I just looked onto. There's an enemy aircraft way behind us. Where is that SKR? Actually, where is it? It's Mitsuki, and he's going to capture C, I assume. some NTR for the team. Is that a duck? It is, isn't it? There we go. There's the SKR. Reload, reload, reload. Now. 
Ah, that makes sense. Also explains the overheating issues. Because for some reason they don't overheat at the same rate. I think the front turret takes slower to overheat. I love the smoke screen, which is absolutely useless. This car is pushing up. There goes one, there goes one of my turrets again. And there goes both of my turrets. Uh. Askers really are not that hard to deal with, as so only you can find the ammo rack before they find yours. Come on, repair the guns. And clear up that. Yep, damn it. And I was the last one left alive as well, wasn't I? Uh, yeah. Of course I was. Well, back to hangar, and I'm just gonna alt tab when I'm back in the screen and launch my Discord to find that camo. Ooh, that's a pretty nice one actually. Do you have the link for it somewhere, QD? There it is. I'm gonna download that. Um, there we go. Don't find my war thunder folder. Put it in user skins. Mm, where is it? There we go. And let's look at that Hatsuharu, shall we? Customization. And there we go. Pretty fancy. I'll definitely use it for my Hatsuharu from now on. Let me just. And it on that, I think. But yeah. Um, that's going to be it for today. I'm just going to do those battle boss challenges somewhere else. Um, or sometime else. What was I going to say? So yeah, I'm just going to stream next week again. Naval... I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do really because I really don't know what to grind. Other than that, I think I'll leave it here. And I'll see you all next week. Yeah. See ya.